Solar Builder's 2021 Residential Project of the Year is the collection of systems for the Pi Pi families in Baja, California, Mexico. They are a reminder that pairing just one panel with one inverter and one battery can change lives. Here to tell us about it is Gustavo Valdez, Mexico Project Manager for Grid Alternatives. I'm thrilled that Grid Alternatives could win one of our Project of the Year awards, um, which I'm not sure that they have since I've been the editor. I guess describe a little bit more about the situation of the indigenous people living in Baja, California, and you know why it was so important to install the systems that you did. This particular community, uh, Santa Catalina, it's very interesting because they they have their like kind of public center hub meeting center very close to the highway, and there is electricity from the highway all the way up to the community center. The houses that are interconnected, that are connected to the to the main grid, they do struggle. Even though prices in Mexico are subsidized, they get a very low bill. But the level of income of these families is lower than that. Delfina took me to the little ranches that are not interconnected. There was also this government program that built concrete homes. They even have the slot for the meter, but there is no grid to connect them to. They even have outlets in the walls, switches in the for the bulbs in the in the roof, in the ceiling. But they don't have electricity because there's like a lot of people living by themselves too, especially the elders. Uh, that poverty goes with also diabetes or other like health uh, issues. And there is a lot of that everywhere, but also mainly, particularly in indigenous communities. Uh, there is this one particular case of an elder member that due to diabetes doesn't have one of his legs and he lives by himself and he's starting to like not see very clearly by night and, and having no income, he struggled for everything. So the community takes care of him. And now he's like, I can see by night. Can you talk about how the, the Pi Pi project came about? I went to the government agency of the state of Baja California that sees indigenous affairs. And they seemed to be more welcoming than the agency before. Why did you need to start at the government level? It's better to arrive with someone that is in the same spectrum than, hey, tak, 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 I do you want solar? Also for my own peace of mind, because how do I start? Like, where do I set the bar? And then where do I start working with them? I was talking to the chief of that office and she's like, oh, actually that's Delfina. You should talk to her. Let's start with her community. I started working with her in 2019. I was going to install in May 2020, then COVID-19 hit. I hadn't thought about the timing of this uh, kind of being postponed a year because, because of COVID. So I guess just talk about how you navigated. With a complete different like process of going, visiting the community, very like, no, we're covered, indigenous communities. Americans, and it was only grid workers, and it wasn't faster, it wasn't better, uh, but we're still in touch with the community, and we go every six months because we it's part of our thing, our policy to, to come back to the community just to make sure that the systems are up and running, uh, always open for service calls too, and um trying to continue to 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 doing more projects I, I did wonder that that part that's like a you know 20 year 25 year service commitment in a way so that's you guys yes. grid alternatives is still in charge of if we're gonna do it we're gonna be there it's not like we're gonna tell someone else to do it or like just like write that down that you don't care about the future like the 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 lifetime of yeah. the system. Where do, where do you typically get funding? This particular project of Santa Catarina, 
with the PyPy community was sponsored by Alstom Foundation. It's the first project we submitted and that we got from from them. We just submitted like a phase two of the of the project. We haven't heard heard back from them. It's it's been a couple of difficult years in timing for grant proposals too. Despite all the complications, I'm glad the PyPy project was able to get through and I'm glad you guys submitted it and you know just congrats again on being our residential project of the year well deserved awesome stuff and thanks Gustavo for walking us through it all thank you thank you Chris